Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in Luminar Neo. There's an update to Luminar Neo version 1.2.0. They've also now incorporated the HDR merge function. I'm going to show you that. And they've added dodge and burn. So this is my first look video at that. To be clear, this update comes out on Thursday, the 28th of July. So this is a preview, a first look, and I want to be clear that because this is an early copy, some things may change, but effectively I want to show you how HDR Merge works. A couple of minor changes based on version 1.2 and of course Dodge and Burn. Let's get going. If you open Luminar and already have your photos in there, I'm in my Demo Files folder, which I use for a lot of YouTube videos. You can see I've got a bracket set of photos here. The first thing you may notice is all the info about your photo is now over here in a bigger window, which I love. In the past, it used to be in a very small window on the bottom left. You used to have to click it to open it, and it still wasn't that big. I love that. Second thing I want to point out is this right-hand panel. If you like, you can collapse it with that little icon. I tend to leave it open because I like that. Um, that's the first thing I wanted to point out. The second thing is HDR Merge. So I have these three different photos shot from a bracket set. And you can see these were shot back in January of 2012. I was doing HDR many years ago, 10, 12 years ago. I love it. I just haven't done it for a while because it's been a little inconvenient, for lack of a better word, from a workflow standpoint. But now this is an option to add HDR Merge to Neo. You don't have to do it. If you own Neo already and own H, uh, excuse me, Aurora HDR 2019, you actually get this for free. But otherwise, it is a $49.99 add-on. And when you do that, you go up to this puzzle piece and you can click on that. And you can see it says add powerful extensions. I've already installed that, but that is the mechanism by which you will get it. Again, this is pre-release, so I don't know if that's going to change. That's how it works today. So let's say you've selected your three photos. This is three. It will take up to 10, as you can see here. And it says from one to 10, which means, yes, you can do a single exposure HDR. No, you cannot do batch processing. There's not a mechanism for batch processing at this time. Things may change, of course. But as soon as you're ready to create your HDR, you take your photos. I've got three, and you just drag them right over here and you drop them in that window, and you will see them appear here. Now, there's a little X, so you can X out if you want to remove one of those exposures, and this little gear icon is important because if you click on that, you can see they'll give you the option for auto alignment, which is great, ghost reduction if you need it, and if you do need it, you can pick a reference image. I'm going to go with the default here, and I'm going to pick medium ghost reduction. Note that if you go to high or highest, it will take a little bit longer to calculate uh, the image or create that blended image. Once you're ready, you can click that gear icon again, and then you just click merge and build this HDR. Now note what they did is they took the intelligence and the tone mapping algorithms from Aurora HDR and basically put them as this extension inside of Neo. So consolidated single window workflow, which I love. I do want to point out that all the sliders that are in Aurora HDR are not necessarily in Luminar Neo. The only new feature to Luminar Neo feature is Dodge and Burn, which we will talk about. So here we go. Here's another thing to be aware of. As soon as you create that HDR, it builds over here. If you look on this bottom left hand side, it creates automatically this HDR merge folder. You can see up here, this is a fully edited version of the photo, but this is the one I just blended. This is my blended HDR that I just created. But I want to pause for a second on this folder. This photo, you will notice there's my blended HDR. But if I go back to my demo files folder, here's my three brackets. You saw a moment ago, I've already got one fully edited HDR from this scene and the blended exposure that I just created that I have yet to finish editing. It's not here. Neither one of them is here. So what it's doing is it's creating this HDR merge folder and it's sticking the blended HDR in that folder. This folder is actually in my pictures folder. So one of the bits of feedback we've given to Skylum is, hey, when you blend this HDR, drop it back in the original folder next to the original brackets that it was built from. It's not doing that today. I wanted you to be aware of that. But it does create a 16-bit TIFF. So the beauty, of course, of Neo is you have all these editing tools. You can just click on that and then click on edit and come over here and further refine your photo. Now, a couple of things to be aware of. Number one, it is develop, not develop raw, because it's not a raw file. It's, by definition, it can't be a raw file, right? It's three different raw files blended to create a new file, which is a 16-bit TIFF. 
so you don't have everything that's in develop raw like chromatic aberration also if you look at the edits tab there's nothing there so here's another thing that i asked the skylum team about and that is hey I don't really have a way to know this is an HDR other than to go look in the HDR merge folder. What I would love is there to be some kind of, I'm going to call it a tool or a filter here that says HDR merge and give me an opacity slider because maybe I like that, but maybe I want to pull back a little bit on the overall HDR look. I don't really in this case, but let's say that I did. I would like a, a filter or like at least a setting here so that I can go in and adjust that. That's just a personal opinion. Let me know what ideas you have. Love to share this feedback with the Skylum team, but so far I love this. And then I can come in and go into various tools and of course do all the editing that I like to do because I have all the power and control that Neo gives me with all these great tools and the masking. Now I'll go back to catalog. I'll click on the one that I actually did edit and just show you some of the things that I did. So that's what it looked like before I did anything. And of course I have cropped it, but that's the base blended HDR image. This is my fully edited final HDR image. And you can see over here in the edits tab that I used a number of different tools here in Luminar Neo to get this final look. So I erased spots in the sky, which hey, is one click automatic, did some stuff and develop, further refined the light with super contrast adjusted color, added structure to the buildings and the walkway with mask AI, remove structure from the sky, negative structure in other words, with mask AI, another structure, and then toning to add a little bit more of that color pop. So that's my final and fully edited HDR photo from that bracket set. I'm gonna do some workflow videos. If there's certain things you want to hear about, let me know down below. And the second most important thing in this update is dodge and burn. If you go to professional tools, you will find it down there. Please note that I only have that in my professional simply because I faved super contrast and color harmony, which also typically reside in professional. So if yours looks different, it's because I've faved those other ones and therefore they've moved to the top. So I will click on dodge and burn and this operates just like dodge and burn did in previous editions of Luminar. You have lighten and darken and erase. So if you want to see some ideas and some creative options for using Dodge and Burn, let me know down below. I've got some ideas for videos there. I want to make sure that I cover that which you want me to cover in future videos. So you can just adjust the size of your brush. Let's say I'm going to do something about like that. I'm going to go with Lighten, and I tend to use fairly soft brush. And Strength, I tend to start a little bit lower. And maybe all I want to do is just brighten slightly the walkway here in the center of the photo. I don't really know how this is going to look. I'm just kind of making it up. But you can see, if you take a look at that, there it is before and after. And then maybe I want to go in and darken at a low strength, like maybe a 15. Maybe I want to darken. Notice it's a negative uh, or a minus sign inside of that mouse uh, circle. Maybe I want to come in and darken this a little bit. And again, I'm just kind of hacking, making this up. Didn't really have a plan. I just wanted to show you that it's here and that it works. So I can go in and quickly adjust light levels with dodge and burn. So before and after, lighten the center of it, darken the edges. It's not exactly ideal. I'm not going to use that, but I wanted to point out how that works. So if you have further questions about Dodge and Burn, leave them below. I will do my best to answer those. And that's my first look at version 1.2.0. Again, HDR Merge is optional and you have to pay for it if you don't have Neo and you don't have the current or most current version of Aurora HDR, which is Aurora HDR 2019. In other words, own Neo and own an older version of Aurora, you have to purchase the HDR Merge extension. Otherwise, it's free. And if you're a subscription user, you get it for free as well. Link down below if you want to check that out. That's my first look, my friends. Thanks for taking a look and stopping by. I appreciate it. I've got a lot of ideas about things I want to do with these new capabilities. I'll be sharing that soon. Again, comments down below. Let me know what works for you and what sounds interesting. Thumbs up if you like this video. And I'll see you soon, my friends. You guys take care of yourselves. And until next time, adios.